Celtic will be the only Scottish side in the UEFA Champions League group stage draw after Rangers fell to a hilarious defeat against PSV. The Premiership runners-up were in a decent position going into Wednesday's clash at the Phillips Stadium. However, the Dutch side ran out emphatic 5-1 winners on the night to secure a 7-3 aggregate triumph. They are now into the Champions League proper and could be opponents for Celtic in Thursday's draw. The Ibrox side, meanwhile, will have to settle for the Europa League. Former Celtic midfielder Mark Kroos has clearly enjoyed watching Rangers fall to defeat. The Spaniard now covers football for Mexican television and was on shift for the Eindhoven mauling. While watching the second half, he took the time to post an image of himself smiling on Twitter, even tagging the official Rangers account alongside a number of laughing emojis, at Mark Kroos's on Twitter. The photo was only taken at 2-0 to the Eredifici side so we can only imagine what Kroos's was like at full time. The tweet racked up over 2,000 likes in its first six hours. It's fair to say that the Celtic support enjoyed watching our rivals fail to join us at the top table of European football. However, there is actually a financial benefit to the club as well. As part of the United Kingdom market, Scotland is entitled to 10% of the UK's share of Champions League TV money when a side qualifies for the group stage. The current figure is 6.8 million euros. Last season we shared the total with Rangers. As champions we took home 3.6 million euros while the Ibrox side got 3.2 million euros. Swiss Ramble. But this year, with them not in the picture, we will take home the full 6.8 million euros 5.8 million pounds. So Rangers losing last night was worth just shy of 3 million pounds to us. PSV's qualification ahead or Rangers also cost us around 1.1 million euros for our coefficient payment. But it's still a net profit and, let's face it, we had a very enjoyable Wednesday night. Celtic have less than two days to complete further transfer business. The summer window will slam shut on Friday at midnight and it seems very much like we can expect significant late business to be done. The club announced the signing of Honduran winger Luis Palma from Greek side Aris Thessaloniki on Wednesday evening. Celtic. And he is likely to be joined by three more new signings before the deadline, according to the Daily Mail's Stephen McGowan. In a typically insightful report, trusted source McGowan has spelled out the club's late transfer intentions. As reported by a number of outlets, he says that Liverpool central defender Nat Phillips will join Celtic on a one-year loan deal. The 26-year-old is already in Glasgow to wrap up the move. He will provide cover while Cameron Carter Vickers, Mike Navrotsky and Stephen Welsh are out injured. While many parts of our summer business can rightfully be called into question, the dire centre-back situation has simply been a case of bad luck. Moving forward and McGowan says that Celtic are, set to add, midfielder Paolo Bernardo from Benfica. As we covered yesterday, that one appears to be a loan deal with an option to buy, similar to our original move for Hoda from the Lisbon club two years ago. Finally, McGowan reports that a left back will be coming into the club. Again, the, set to add, phrase is used suggesting that a deal is likely. At present we have no left back names to bring to you. However, you can expect that to be a matter of time. Our lack of meaningful early business this summer and some rough injury luck has left us chasing our tail badly in the final week of the window. Regardless, there is at least some excitement at the prospect of Palma, Phillips, Bernardo and a left-back coming in to give us a much-needed boost ahead of Ibrox.